Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oblong Polka Dots, and my name is Kerr. And on this channel, we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So, if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> I need to run a quick errand before I get going with my day. So, we're just going to power through this. I'm going to start off with a primer. This one is from Fenty. It's the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I'll spare you this spiel that I normally give about it gonna fuse that all over and yes my skin is already clean and prepped always want to start with clean skin okay so for my eyes today I'm going to actually be using this pencil from Laura Mercier it is called strike a rose I'm gonna throw this on real quick And this will be the base for our eyeshadow. Okay. And next, we have our eyeshadow. So this is from ColourPop and it's called Sonic Bloom. There's no mirror. This is what our palette looks like. And for today's look, I'm going to be using this column right here, top to bottom. So the top color is Field Trip, middle is De Bloom, and bottom is Eclipse Season. I'm going to take it from brightest to darkest. We're going to start off with the flat brush. I'm going to go into that first color called Field Trip. There is a lot of fallout with this color. So just patting it onto the lid. There we go. Okay, and then our second color right below it, right there on the mobile lid in the center. Then we're going to take our brush and we're going to flip it over to this side and we're going to go with that last color right there on the outer corner. A little bit more. Same for this side. Blend that edge out a little bit so we don't have a harsh line on the lid. And that's it. Let's go ahead and blend it out. Let's grab a blending brush. I've got one right here. We're just blending that color up a little bit and then we're going to pull it out. So I'm not going up and down, I'm going straight to get myself a nice straight line just to pull that color out at an angle. Same for this side. Okay. Good. And then we are going to clean up some of that fallout. Sorry for the racket. A little bit of makeup cleaner, or uh, remover, I should say. Clean a little bit of that fallout. This is one of those Shiseido puffs. Love these. There we go. Okay. 
this so that's clean and then we're going to go ahead and grab a pencil this one is from urban decay and it's called love drug just gonna line the eyes I don't line my bottom line, my bottom lash line, but I do line the water line just to make it look thicker, meaning making my lip, can't talk, make my lashes look thicker. Okay, there we go. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. All right, and then now, let's go ahead and put on some of our concealer. This is from Lancome. It's a Tate Edel Ultra Wear. I wear mine in 470 for the winter and spring, <laughs> the cooler months. So if we're skin twins, then I definitely suggest this concealer. It's absolutely my favorite. I have it in a couple other shades as well for blending purposes. And yeah, I love it. It works well with a ton of different foundations. And it just is very skin-like. It's really beautiful. I'm going to let that sit there for a quick second. For the complexion today, we're going to use the Lancome Skin Feels Good. And this one has Octinoxate Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 23. I bring that up because a lot of people worry about sunscreen in their complexion products, um, kind of making a cast, and this stuff doesn't do that. Mine is in the shade 08 and Honey. And we're just going to pop a little pump here. I don't think I really need more than a pump. Maybe a pump and a half at the most. We're going to drop a brush. I think we're going to grab a brush. Here's a brush. <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead and blend this product in. This is a little bit deeper than my skin tone, but again, it's like a skin tint, so it still blends in beautifully, and it looks very skin-like. Just something to kind of even out the tone. It's not made for, you know, full coverage or anything like that. I need to clean up my brows, you guys. Y'all got me out here looking crazy. Didn't say nothing. Okay. See how that looks just really skin-like? Gives a nice glow. And then for under my eyes, I'm going to use this Morphe brush. I love this one. It's the M173, and it's perfect for blending out concealer. love this brush. I love this brush so much that when I thought Morphe was going out of business, I went and bought like seven more. I was like, one thing we're not going to do is run out of this brush. Okay. There we go. See how that looks really skin-like? And then we're going to go ahead and set underneath the eyes. I've been doing this a lot lately. I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Honey. And this little puff that I got from Amazon. And let's see. I don't know why I always have so much trouble opening this thing. We're just going to take a little bit of this. And we're going to set that concealer right there. I didn't do this before because I always felt like it made my skin underneath my eyes feel really dry. But... I've just been doing it lately, and I really like the way that it looks. I like how it brightens up underneath the eye. Now let's set the rest of our face. We're going to use this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, and they don't make this anymore, so which is unfortunate. It's my favorite setting powder, but they don't make it, so when it runs out, it runs out. That'll be it. I'm just going to set our face. Just 
like that. And then I want to grab a blush because I love blush. So the blush I'm going to wear oof, is this blush that has had me in a chokehold. It's from Morena Beauté and it's called Sweet Brown. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. This is an Afro Swedish brand, so you should definitely check them out. And this blush is just beautiful. I like to bring my blush just underneath my eye. Gives kind of an ethereal look. And this blush for anyone with my tone or deeper, it just goes beautifully with so many looks. It's very ethereal. So it's not one of those blushes that really dominates your face. It doesn't like take over. It just complements the, the tone of your skin. So you definitely should check out this brand. Always here to support my sisters from all over the world. There we go. And then let's go ahead and set all of that. I really need to, y'all, it is time for me to wash my brushes. <laughs> it is time. So let's go ahead and use our setting spray from Kryolin. This is the ultra setting spray. This stuff also has me in a chokehold. I have several bottles of this that I purchased from F-R-E-N-D-S, Friends cosmetic or friends um what is it called it's like a beauty supply they sell to a lot of makeup artists and i love this spray so much it's like really strong though so if you're super sensitive to alcohol this is not the spray for you it's just like the one that's from ben nye where it's just it's gonna set your makeup for the whole day like you are not gonna have to worry about it budging but it is super duper strong. I'm just putting some of this stuff away. Sorry for all the racket. All right, let's finish up this look, shall we? So my brows are tattooed, which means I really don't need to do anything with them. Um, but I do have a little spoolie here on this MAC brow pencil that I use. And the shade that I do use if I fill in my brows is called Spiked. But we're just gonna brush that and be done with it. And then for my, sorry, didn't mean to bump the camera. For my mascara today, we have one from Essence, and this is called Crazy Volume. This is not my favorite brush. I really don't much care for this type of brush, but I love the formula. And Essence is truly a high quality brand at an affordable price. I don't tend to dip the fully back into the tube because I feel like more than enough product is deposited and I change my mascaras constantly so I really prefer to shop with a brand that's affordable rather than spend a ton of money on mascara that I'm going to throw away in about a month and a half two months just give it a nice thick coat and then for the bottom, I just have to be careful because typically I make a mess. Like I almost did right there. There we go. I just don't think this brush type is necessarily designed for bottom lash line, but we gonna make it work today and every other day. All right. I think that's it. You guys, <laughs> let's take a look at this look. Shall we? This is what it looks like. What do you think? I'm going to throw on just, uh, here we go. I'm going to throw on fussy for my lip and then we're done. This is from Fenty and this is one of my favorite gloss formulas. It sits on the lips beautifully. It's comfortable. There we go. What do you think?
Yay, we're done. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.